So today I got my new spinning box. Um, ta da! And this month I remembered to black out my address. So um, last month I did one, but because I showed my address, I didn't publish it except to people who specifically asked. But now we get to see the goodies. And as you can see, still sealed. So you're getting like my first and genuine impressions. Let's see what we've got. This month's theme says that it is called Groovy Man. So probably um, what that means to me or what that implies to me is it's going to be a lot of tie-dye type colors, um, bright colors, 70s colors, maybe 60s colors. Um, but yeah, probably some combinations that I would have never thought of. Um, either to spin or to um, form into knitting, crochet, or weft because I'm not that good at spinning for warp and so I'd probably just buy some cotton um, to go on it for that. But yeah, a little bit about me. I am been doing the spinning box for about a year. Um, I knit, I crochet, I weave, I obviously spin. Um, and I do a few other dozen fiber crafts that you pair me up with a farmer, um, or, you know, a shepherd and someone who knows how to shear and, well, we're going to at least get through those latter stages after people have taken care of the zombies for the zombie apocalypse. So opening time and let's see what we got. All right. So, it says, keep on trucking, see you next month, up, up, and away, for the little sticker. And I love the paper, because I'm like, re reduce, reuse, recycle, so it is going to probably be used for um, gifts and stuff. Okay, so, we've got a postcard. I love these because I send letters and postcards out to people. Peace, love, and like I said, all hippie-ish, which, considering I'm in Portland, Oregon, kind of fits. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. First one. Happy Hawaii Falcon, Falkland. Uh, so, probably Falkland Fiber. Um, Hand-dyed by Christina Roel um, from Aloha Blue. I like them. I've gotten some really nice stuff from them before. I like I have a little happy um, Hawaiian uh, license plate keychain or stitch marker, sorry. So, a little blue. Let's see what the fiber feels like. Ooh, it's nice. Let's see if we can do this like a license plate. Or not a license plate, like a map. I always am scared that if I take something out like this, that I'm not going to get it back again. But I have tape at home, so I'll just very carefully peel off the tape. Let's see what the colorway totally is. Now, from what I understand from the spinning box, um, there's like you know, there's like quite a few um, people that submit samples. So uh, my box is never gonna have the exact same, really, but you get a good variety. And I've had this shop before and I've spun it. I think I did it for last year's Tour de Fleece and I loved it. So, so yeah, to me, this is just like, this is Hawaii, this is oceans and beach. Yeah, the, the fibers are a little bit compact, but it's it's top. Um, so I think Falkland is a longer staple length, so that would stand. But it's not coarse. Um, it's definitely not merino soft, but very few things are. Um, but yeah, that'll be a... I love spinning that. I could see that as a cowl, maybe, or a hat. I have a friend that's asking for a, um, a ponytail cap. 
uh, for when she goes to um, sporting events that are outside so that she can keep her head warm without having that long hair person ponytail bump at the back. So, oh, there's more in here. Oh, Happy Hawaii ABBA lyrics, which, considering how much I love uh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Let's see. Probably the photo that was the inspiration for the colorway. I love when I get these with the from, from the fiber artists. It always helps to tell a story. And as I get better in my fiber journey, well, my fiber documentation journey, um, you know, that's going to tie in, I think, um, with how I eventually want to take care of my, young, you know, take care of my um, spinning and what I do. So, uh, let's see. Yarn Fairy and the Pixies. Uh, let's see here. Rockin' 70s. Um, so, and I, I love that I get, like, so many bags. <laughs> it's always fun. So yeah, totally tie-dye type, very tight braid. Feels kind of merino-ish. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> okay, better guessing. So yeah. So yarn fairy and the pixies. Um, merino. Hopefully that looks out right on the camera. Um, so. Um, and before anyone like hits the, you know, naughty button on YouTube. Um, I don't get any like kickbacks or perks from Spinning Box or any of the people that are in the box. Um, I buy this myself every month and, you know, I mean, fair use, fair trade, I guess. Um, but everyone does unboxing videos. And so again, um, this is not sponsored by anyone that's connected with this box. I'm just doing this because if you're getting, if you're interested in these boxes, because there's so many out there, it, it's a good idea to know what you're getting. I, I researched a lot um, and didn't really get anything. So, you know, maybe this will help you. So full circle artworks. Um, let's see. It looks pretty. A little bump that just feels divine. It's top. I'm getting better at learning that stuff. You know, top versus roving. Um, bats are always easy to figure out. But yeah, so there's some um, Starfire or Angelina in with this guy. And So this is 70s Kitchen. It is um, Pullworth, Merino, Fire, Firestar, and Angelina. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm horrible. Um, but, oh, if I can do this without turning it to mud, this is going to be awesome. So, that'll be fun. Feels so soft. Definitely not why I remember the kitchens being in the 70s. Because that's when I did my formative growing up. So, I remember the 70s. You young whippersnappers. get better at this I'll do more than just doing this from my iPhone um, so yeah forgive all of that okay Ooh, there's one here that's no baggy it's from Broadway creations let's see I've got a code I want to buy more 
1970s wallpaper is what it is and yeah I can kind of see that so let's see here what is my fiber content feels merino-ish yep 100% merino yeah merino definitely has a feel so you can probably barely tell it apart from yeah, it does kind of match my wall. So, do something maybe with the intention of a wall hanging. Ooh, spin it fine and do one of those um, lace um, knitted picture frames that you can use to hold earrings and such. Okay, next. Born in a barn. All right, all right, all right. 100% uh, Superwash BFL. Okay, so this is gift giving yarn. Um, or, you know, it'll become yarn. I'll knit a project, and this is one that I can give to someone because I don't have to worry about um, if they're going to abuse it. So here's the label. And let's see what it looks like. So bright and cheerful, you know, probably not enough for a scarf, um, maybe a cow, um, cow, but I love BFL. I think BFL is, it holds a special place in my heart. It was one of the um, fibers that I learned how to um, actually not park and draft with, uh, to just do the continuous, you know, um, inchworm method with it. Um, so yeah, I love BFL. Okay. Look at that. And so let's see, there we go. So it's Pullworth or Pullworth, uh, wool hand painted, um, from Shakira B maybe. If this is you, I'm sorry if I butchered that. Um, so, Pullworth seems to be a trend this month, um, but that is fun, and it's definitely 70s, you know, it's got that psychedelic 70s look to it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge to it's going to have to be chain plied. Um, because otherwise I think I'm going to just turn it into mud and I'm not very good at chain plying. Well, guess that's the lesson. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I love about these boxes is that I get this little sample. I play. I can either fractal it. I can practice my chain ply. I can practice another drafting method. I can practice a way of separating it out. I can, you know, I can do things with it that maybe I don't want, you know, maybe I have that really nice colorway, that, that one that I held off because I'm like, oh, I know I want to do it this way, but I don't know how to do it this way yet. You know, these guys, you know, it's perfect for it. So, next one. Painted Harlot Fiber um, Night at the Disco. Charlie's Angels uh, photo. Uh, Gotland, Corey Dell, Jacob Wool. Um, I hope that's like American Jacob Wool and it's one of the rare breeds because that would be awesome. Um, or one of the Livestock Conservatory Shave and Um That would be great. Um, so here is her card. Um, if that's not too horrible. Um, so yeah, here's the photo. And yes, I'm enough of a 70s child that I did know that that was Charlie's Angels. Um, but... I can see that the dresses were the inspiration. 
and it's probably a roving, I think, wasn't it? Blended back. Oh, I missed the faux cashmere. I love that. I've got some here that I'm, um, that yarn barfed on me, sadly, from the spending box. And I just love, love the feel. Um, so, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, sometimes the challenge with these is learn, figuring out what to do if you, you know, with small amounts. You know, do you do samplers? Do you, you know, how do you effectively process it? Or not process it, but utilize it. You know, or do you just let it become, you know, like an ornament? Um, <laughs> you get candy in the boxes, fair warning. Um, so any parents um, or caregivers of young ones, um, be warned. Um, this might be not what, this might be a box you need to vet um, beforehand, but classic fruit roll up, high fructose corn syrup and all. Or wait, no, there is no high fructose. It's just corn syrup and dried corn syrup and sugar. So, yeah. yeah. I'm going to Black Sheep Gathering. I can put that in my bag for a quick energy boost. Okay, I think there's only two things left it's the, um, the big box and the um, the breed study, which is this. Uh, I call, I've, I've always called it um, Cheviot or Cheviot. Um, and this actually is going to be, this is a fiber that I have a fondness for. Um, it's the first one that I got when I got my spindle. Uh, it's the first breed I spun. So, um, but yeah, just interesting to see it in its, um, more or less natural element. Um, so. Ooh, those are some moderately long staples. You know, sometimes it's strange to notice what my favorite breeds look like when they're, you know, off the hoof. You know, I mean, there's a fair amount of lanolin as well. Yeah, that'll go into my breed study um, bag, and as I sit here and go over it, and yep, it smells like a barnyard. But it was, yeah. But see, I've learned this means that it was mostly coated because it's kind. Of, I think because it's rubbing up against here, and the tips aren't like tippy. They're not like pointy. You know, they're kind of rolled over. So I think that means that this guy was coated. Which will be good. It'll be easy to clean. I've got, I've gotten used to it. Um, like I said, I'm doing um, Shave Em to Save Em from the Livestock Conservatory, which is why I know that, um, that the Jacobs are on that list. Um, which really seems strange because, you know, A, they're like multicolored um, coat, um, but they are like in the recovering or, you know, so who knows. Okay, so, oh, there's more under there. So this is the um, Merino. I think it's all Merino. Yeah, custom design groovy Merino blend. And again, that's going to be one of those that's a challenge to spin. How do I do that without making it muddy? 
I'm just going to have to do my best to separate out each color. I hope I do well. And definitely either go for a barber pole or a chain ply. Um, so 1976. Um, so let's see here. I've got Twizzler. Well, that's going to find its way to someone that's not me. I, I don't like Twizzlers. I like red vines. And apparently there, there really is a difference because I don't like these. Uh, let's see. Cute sticker. And I've got a word search for 70 songs. How many of these did I hear on the radio when I was a kid? Um, find and circle all of these songs from the 1970s that are hidden in the grid. The remaining letters spell the title of an additional song from the 70s. Oh, seriously? That's a challenge. <laughs> so, and then like I said, there's this guy. And so next month is going to be either keep our, is going to be up, up, and away. So it's going to be a very airy theme next month. All right, so that is this box. Um, I guess leave me any comments, questions. Um, I guess I have to say criticisms as well, um, but considering that I'm doing this with just my iPhone and the lighting's not the best, guess what? I already know those. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching for like over 20 minutes and see you next month.